a South Korean delegation discussed possible exports of the KF-21 multi-role jets and submarines, as well as augmenting F-A-50 fighter acquisitions with Philippine authorities during the DSA 2024 event held in Malaysia. In line with the Philippines' three-phase military modernization plan, detailed cooperation measures were discussed with senior Philippine officials, as per an official statement from Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration DAPA, the Philippines has expressed interest in submarines, and the F-A-50, KF-21, and submarines were highlighted in particular. Though funding for the program has not yet been secured, the KF-21, which is now undergoing flight testing, was touted as a viable option to satisfy the MRF's requirements. The KF-21 could very well compete in this program since the MRF has not yet received funding. Manila would wait in manufacturing, in line with the PAF's requirements for 2027 to 2029, if it chose to purchase the KF-21. This development follows a series of assessments carried out by the Philippine Department of Defense, which had previously taken into consideration the Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70 Viper and the Saab JAS-39 Gripen. The PAF looked into other choices due to cost concerns, and the KF-21 turned out to be an excellent alternative. With 65% of its parts designed locally in South Korea, the KF-21 is especially noteworthy for its incorporation of cutting-edge technologies, including an AESA radar, an advanced electronic warfare suite, targeting, and reconnaissance pods. The final decision on the purchase of new aircraft is still pending, but the KF-21 presents itself as a strong contender to support Philippine air defense in the face of regional threats, particularly territorial claims in the South China Sea. However, the majority of its armament would come from MBDA. The FA-50PH aircraft, manufactured by Korea Aerospace Industries, comprise the majority of their fighter fleet. These aircraft improve the Air Force's capacity for air defense and air patrol in addition for use in training. Korea Aerospace Industries KI, has supplied the Philippine Air Force with a total of 12 FA-50PH light combat aircraft. The final aircraft was delivered in May 2017. What do you think of the KF-21 for the Philippine Air Force for 2027 or 2029? Do you think the Philippines need a stopgap multi-role fighter for the meantime to secure its vast air and sea space? Or just wait for the KF-21? Write your comment below. Like and subscribe to our channel for more videos to watch. If you want to watch more videos like this, click any one of the two videos featured before this video ends. Enjoy watching. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.